Hello and welcome to the Cobalt Cafe. Today we're playing Phi Apophasis in GURPS 4th Edition. I'm Luke the GM and we've got Lee. Hi, I'm Lee. I play Violet, Spy slash Fixer, I guess? That be yeet. We've got Terra. Hey, I'm Terra and I play Abby, um, the Problem Child. Problem Child, yep. Yeah. What a great movie as well. We've got Kyle. Hey, I am Kyle. I will be playing Quinn. We'll meet Quinn later. We've got Everoth. Hello, I am Everoth, and I will be playing Erica. We'll also meet soon, and we've got... You got a portrait for Erica? Oh, uh, yeah. And... Yeah. Sort yourself out, Everoth. I have to get tell. We don't, we don't want to get sued by Game Freak. No. <laughs> They're too busy doing stuff probably and we've got colin hi i'm colin i play grim dark yeah who really just goes by kadeem now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you're pretty you gotta be pleased right that sigrid killed piotr because uh piotr knew your no! identity what he, he would have given it up oh yeah that's true he would have yeah, no, well... But you wouldn't say you're pretty pleased. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, he might be okay with the ultimate outcome, but he is absolutely not okay with how it was achieved. I don't know, it was pretty painless. It it, it, it could have been done a lot more non-lethally. Probably. Is opposed to the murder of most people. That's probably like, he like even a good stuff. Kills to reluctantly in self defense. Mm. Even after all this time. He, especially after all this time. He's he's seen what kind of impact a single person can have and taking anybody out of the gene pool could have bad repercussions. I think this might be part of why you put Chase in space. Conversations like this that you used to have with him. Yeah. And it ended it with, like, Almost I just don't get it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you don't get a, an orbital strike cannon. Grumble, grumble. Well, so yeah, unless you're not catching it. Previously, Sigrid killed Pyotr. Because Pyotr was going to turn himself in to the uh, authorities. Mawson said that he could protect him. Uh, Sigrid said that she could attack him. Sigrid said she wouldn't let him. And she didn't. And she regrets badly so much that uh, she left. Right? She gone. No, no. Just the weapons laid out on the bed. It's been two months since that happened. Uh, there was some, you know, grieving period. Maybe the most interesting thing that came of it all is Piotr's body going missing. You had it wash up on the shore um, in the Unisur district, and it was indeed in the hands of the task force for a while. And then it disappeared? And then it disappeared. And the authorities are actually blaming it on Sigrid. Saying that blaming the disappearance on Sigrid, the disappearance of the body on Sigrid, also mentioned it's... that Sigrid and generally her brand of terror attack have not been spotted recently. And if Sigrid's still out of touch, it's hard to know that she didn't. That's very true. That's yeah. You've probably thought about it and can't see any reason why she would. He deserves a decent burial and shouldn't be left in a morgue. Like, that that is the main part, yeah. Except for the fact that the way you found out is because Piotr's old friends were trying to get him a decent burial. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's overlapping things going on there. That's a bit confusing. In the meantime, you did meet Erica. Uh, we'll skip through this a little bit. But... In assessing some of the threats that the island had been facing, 
you realized quite quickly that it was not in fact vampires and it was something more sinister demonic presences have begun manifesting across the globe uh, authorities are kind of painting them as a new development of metahumans Uh, particularly the US is saying that it's a mutation that's come out of Nirvana and it's because, you know, metahumans have been allowed to run free and breed with each other and what have you. And then the rest of the world's like, we don't say this shit anymore, America. <laughs> Get your shit together. And America's like, we told you, we warned you, just look what's happening. And Kadeem, you're pretty certain it's told Grendel. Violet? Yeah. But how? Like, how do I prove it? Violet, you're inclined to think it might be related. It could well be to do with a rift that's been open for a bit long. I mean, Violet's leading theory is that they fucked around with the rift and that destabilized things, and that's probably what's, what's causing Kadeem's magic theory to happen. They're probably related. We find it out. Pretty much. If, if she could take out their portal team, she absolutely would. The portal team... But oh, you it's mean... It's probably super, super top secret. Like, the Americans. Yeah, whatever they've got, like, on or close to American soil. Mm hmm Okay. But I don't think we're doing that today. I think no. today we're somewhere else. Fast forward to present day. You're all in Morocco. Um, you've actually been off the island a fair bit in recent months. In the last, you know, in the last month at least. Not much to see on it. It's getting quite risky to, you know, do the things you do. And also, those demonic presences kind of sort themselves out as quick as they become problems. Which is how you've met Erica who is here with you in Morocco now. Hi, Erica. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, <clears throat> uh, she will... Or, or, or possibly what we've learned about her over the last couple weeks. Okay. Uh, over the past few weeks, you have learned that she, uh, she was a resident of Nirvana, and uh, she is looking for her father. You know that she has a very uh, a very high energy attitude, and she trains a lot. She normally wears uh, a shirt, uh, wraps around her chest, a leather jacket, and likes to uh, exercise a lot, as well as doing a lot of uh, martial arts uh, training. And she also loves and has this little derpy pug. Yep. It's golden with uh, with black and brown, and it it sleeps a lot. It likes pets and potatoes. If you have any potato related snack, it will scran it. It it mostly likes the a the raw potato. No 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 no. <laughs> the how do you call the ones that are like fried but not like French fries? The ones that are like uh. Slices of the whole potato, but, like, fried. Mm. They're, like, the size of your hands. In, in America, we call them potato chips. <laughs> Crisps. Yep. Fried potato that's chips. Uh, but, yeah, that's what you learn from America. She's very sweet. She's very kind. Uh, she's uh, attractive. And seems to know a lot about... Mar uh, a lot about hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat, and he's more than happy to... Uh, how do you call that? Uh, not duel, but like train by fighting each other or Sparring. teach them. Sparring, thank you very much. So yeah, so I see it as uh, you came upon Erica hunting down these demon creatures on Nirvana, sort her on her own. Recruited. M makes sense. Um, and she and she can actually hold her in. Yeah, she's she's been capable so far. And 
<laughs> the mental scans that I'm sure Violet does on people have come across very clean on Erica for certain. Fair. She has few bad intentions at all, I expect. So I guess it makes sense that as we're gearing up to go take care of an intrusion Something Morocco that we potentially, invite her out. Yep, similar to what she might have been helping you with before. And you get offered a free trip to Morocco, Erica, and I'm sure you've accepted because you're here now. Yeah, she w she was more than eager to help the group. She is very dutiful to the cause of uh, protecting uh, as many people as she can. Cool. Cool, cool. All right. There is a guy here who you think's got some intel. Uh, he visited both of the villages that have been eviscerated in the mountains south of where you currently are. What's the capital of Morocco again? Casablanca. Casablanca, lol. <laughs> really? Rabat, actually, but... Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Casablanca is the cooler place, though. Yeah, I would think so. I had a real tough time with uh, South Africa's capital city the other day. Uh... Yeah. It's Johannesburg? Nope. Okay, yeah, that I don't know either. I mean, I, I, I only knew Robot because I'm literally looking at the Wikipedia page right now. <laughs> <laughs> Roll research in real life. Oh, you succeeded. <laughs> uh, Alright. Like, Wikipedia <laughs> adds a plus four to that role. So let's put you in Casablanca, because it's the cooler place, and I'm sure it's bustling, you know? It's that Absolutely. It's sort of fun atmosphere. You got your spice markets, you've got your leather stalls, you've got all these fancy dyed cloths and fabrics. Uh, I'm think I'm thinking we need to tail this guy specifically and not just abduct him, because he he's a suspect, but we're also kind of hoping he might just lead us to places that are involved as well, without realizing it. If that works for you guys. What's the time of day? Mm. Are we saying you've just arrived, do you reckon? Shuttle sure. landing. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm cool with that. I, I thought you were wanted us to start, like, actively following him. No, yeah, yeah let's start with you actively following him. Shuttle's been landed it, for about half a day. It is now early evening. The sun will be set in in the next hour. I figure Ooh. we're doing that thing where you take turns tailing and you try to stay out of sight it's less We've spice get... market now and hookah stalls and late night vendors trying to scam tourists and what have you I don't think we let Abby take a turn <laughs> sorry at first I was laughing at your joke but then I was laughing at the idea of Abby trying to surreptitiously <laughs> follow somebody yeah <laughs> on the uh, way in Chase would have suggested uh, mm, quite a lot of people wear the full burqa in Morocco if Abby I mean I'm planning on it looking for a way to blend it <laughs> okay so Violet's already also planning on the full burqa well not, not full but like standard mm-hmm <laughs> Kadeem looks as average here as he does in most places, so... Um... Weather appropriate, though, right? It's going to be linen, surely. Oh, oh, yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do a new outfit, won't I? But, uh... <laughs> Straw hat. Uh, I think he puts on something that's a little, little dingier than you would normally catch him wearing. Status um, one only. That... Yeah. And so, he, he's trying to Trying to blend in that way. He may not have a fez, but he's definitely, uh, you know, pretended to be a tourist. It, yeah. So whoever thinks they'd be best at this, give me a shadowing. And the other person who's also following this guy, give me a shadowing. I like how nobody's talking, so we might get like three or four of them. <laughs> 
which is totally appropriate. Yeah, it is. I'm sure if you so are we on break or something? Why can't I hear anybody? You can't hear anybody. Can't hear us now. <laughs> CD's here, but I'll not bother. All right, resetting my computer again. I think. <laughs> uh, sad. Is shadowing IQ based? Um, probably. Uh, yes. Almost definitely. Or, or it can be at least. Yeah, then Kadeem is not shadowing. Mm hmm. Chase is a. Has sort of been trying. He's not above right now, but he's oh. got all the maps and what have you. You're on him at least, Violet. You don't think you've been made, but this guy is acting very sus. It's like he's actively trying to be hard to follow, whether or not he knows he's being followed. Um, the fellow Fair. is of particular interest because he lived on Nirvana recently. He was born in France. His name is Philippe. Give me a surname. Mignon. Mignon. Grenouille. Grenouille, did you say? Yeah. Like Jean-Paul. Okay, yeah. Philippe Grenouille. Perfect. Um, not a metahuman. Uh, kind of a big capitalist guy We ties to France back when Nirvana were pre-invasion. Left during the invasion. Returned briefly recently. And then has been in Morocco, kind of back and forth to Nirvana since. And yeah, Quinn, you've got... Hello? No problem. Hello, can you hear us? Welcome back. I don't Hello. think you can hear us. I can hear Yay. All right. Can you hear Yeah. Yes. You got us? Yay. I can hear you. Uh, okay. Yay. Think <laughs> about that. Well, hey, we've got CD. CD's joining us. So, thanks, shenanigans. Go on. While we're doing all the shadowing and everything, um, does do they uh do they see the other? Party. No one does Quin Quincy another party of people shadowing oh, these guys. Right, yeah. You, Quinn, would definitely pick up on the party. Uh for okay. certain Violet. It's Violet that you spot that is doing the shadowing. Uh okay. Uh so just for a bit of context, um, C D you are currently in Morocco. Uh, tracking down essentially a very sus guy who may well be part of a cult that's summoning demons right now. But carry on, Kyle, sorry. Uh, is, is there like a way that she could figure out, I'm sorry, that uh, Quinn could figure out how to... Uh, isolate like the Wi-Fi <laughs> from Violet's cell phone. The most definitely is you've got hyperspectral vision on your eyes. I'm guessing, right? Yes. Yeah. You're essentially looking for a way to see. Uh, what... I think you might need to make a sensors check because. Oh, yes. Yeah. Senses. Oh. Senses would do it. I'm currently looking up what the penalty is. Um, oh. I think that gets it. Minus six, but yep, absolutely. Uh, so, yes. <laughs> uh, there is active sensor masking going on on Violet that you are detecting, but yes, she mm -hmm. also has the wireless stuff you're looking for. That's a professional there. All right. Mm, highly uh, professional. It's kind of like stuff that you use as well, I'd, I'd guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, it's uh, probably exactly the stuff you use. Uh, distortion chip. I think Quinn wants to start working on, like, wiggling in so that way she can 
start by pinging its location. So you can just generally keep track. Yeah, yeah. Like, just, just have that program running in I the think, back. Yeah, I think you can achieve that just with that crit on the sensors. Okay. Because as well, it'll be a, a fairly unique signature once you've actually detected it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, uh, but also wants to set up like a, a back door to, to be able to <laughs> communicate with it. That would probably be a lot more difficult, but you could definitely that's send... actual hacking. You could send it a direct message, you think, that it, it, it'd pick up on. They'd okay. You, you, could, you could talk to it, for sure. And okay. And you could definitely start setting it up so that you can talk to it relatively securely. Okay. And then, uh... Would it be fair to assume that Quinn has already kind of set something like this up on the target? Target bugged, maybe. Oh, you mean just like following the phone? Yeah, yeah, following that that guy's phone as well. Yeah, I'll give you that. They've not got any GPS on them, so you don't get their exact location, but you you do know where they are to like roughly within. 10 or 20 Oh, meters. so they've got, like, an old-school phone? Mm. Well, it, it's still only 2004 in most of the world. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. But you probably come prepared for that as well. Okay. You could have probably even bugged them at this point. They will likely just be leaving having a fancy meal at a restaurant alone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe something slipped in the food. Have you got sleight of hand? Oh, of course. Give me that. And a stealth, probably. Sleight of hand on the nose. You'll want a good stealth. That's a pretty good stealth. Okay. I'm sorry, that would have been moving, so it would have only been Versa 21, but that's still a success <laughs> by 11. You get away with it. Um, and yeah, you are tracking one of your fancy bugs right now. Okay. Uh, you know what? They, I noticed at some point that they're losing them, right? Uh, yeah. You'd, you'd spot that Violet's not doing a perfect job. All right. Give it some time, give myself a bit of a head start, and then send that phone the location. Like, the, the way to track the... Send uh, uh, Violet's phone over the program to, like, track it. Yeah. Is it sent over a means that can be replied to? It's probably just like SMSs you a uh, 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 a file, so you could probably respond to whatever number that is. You just got like a few hundred SIM cards in your bag. Uh, so you don't Honestly, see. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, Luke, honestly, I don't even think it's a SIM card. I think it's like... Something that's got a cable that's got a SIM card end, and it spoofs phone numbers. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, d you don't see her react, like, in person, but there's a text message response. Who is this? Uh, there's also a text message sent to Chase. I've been hacked. What? <laughs> uh, a friend. By who? I don't know. Can you check? Uh, they've sent you. It seems to be GPS. Wait, 
Is that a target? Can you trace them? Give me a moment. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> and Violet doesn't reply to the text, at least immediately. They're in Morocco. Uh, I'd guess Casablanca, but I can't do better than Morocco. Is what Chase will tell you. And... Yeah. Kadeem. Kadeem. What's your general motive right now? Um, Once the sky gets dark enough, he'll be on the butter glider. But until that point, I think he's sort of... Um, you know what? He'll find... Uh, a tower in one of the mosques. I don't know what they call the the the, the tower where they a minaret. Do the night. There you go. But yeah, he'll he'll climb up in one of those and and try and direct the rest of the team to follow or yeah, as best he can. I see you. Uh... I see you handing like a a couple of coins to some kids sat at bottom a minaret. Oh, absolutely. To just run up the stairs. Yeah, that's a nice little shot. I mean, you, you'll get to the top and Chase will talk about this. Abby, are you on the ground as well? Or are you and Snickers perhaps they don't elsewhere? Allow me. I, I assume they don't allow us out. Thing. So I was just letting them do their thing. So you can ignore me for now. Okay. I mean, that doesn't mean you have to listen. <laughs> That's part of your charm. Yeah, that is part of your charm. And Erica. Is Erica very stealthy? I don't think she is, is she? Uh, not really. That's not her thing. No, Erica's more about bashing things real quick. Like, you blink and she's run around the room and the entire din of service is implanted in the enemy. <clears throat> if you ask her to check something real quick, she can, but... Not sure if they will be able to see him. See her? Uh, yeah, you, you definitely get the... spotted. For sure. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah, so maybe this is not a thing that Erika can do. Okay. She could lure... She could, she could try to lure someone's guard attention away from some place. Maybe. Like, she could try and floor with them, but that's about it. That's a pretty good suggestion, actually. Uh, yeah. Although not necessarily needed at this moment, but yeah. Well, we'll keep you in mind if we ever need a honey trap. <laughs> That's what they called, right? Or is it a honey pot? Yep. Honey <laughs> pot is slightly different. Okay. Either way, uh, Ruga. Um, yeah, the guy will stop at a bar, have a drink. Um, that's where you kind of lost sight of him briefly, Violet. But <clears throat> then Chase will look at that signal for you and the weird stuff that got sent on the text and say, yep, this is this is that guy's location. I imagine the text were like a link to a website and then a password as well. You go to the website and put the password in, and it's just the location of that guy <laughs> <laughs> that you host in for the next twenty minutes. Yeah, that that could be it exactly. Roll of the eyes. Well, whoever they are, they maybe want to help, or maybe it's that guy and he's trying to show us that he's onto us. And he's not Whatever it is, I'm going offline for a bit. I'll I'll be in contact the other way. Roger that. Give me another census check, please, Quinn. Uh, you could tell 
that this other spy, air quotes, is communicating via satellite on something super encrypted, like at your levels, maybe beyond your levels, uh, whatever satellite server is being used is powerful. Okay, uh, maybe just save all the pertinent information for later. I think that's going to be a sit down and focus activity. Mm -hmm. And so the sun will go down, but a glider will be able to get mounted by Kadeem. And this guy will eventually leave the bar after about 90 minutes and catch a cab across town. Perfect. Nice, Kadeem. Nice. That's a good outfit, yeah. And yeah, Kadeem will follow the follow the cab with the with the butter glider. Let everybody else know the direction he's going. Oh shit. Well, we still have radios, I guess. I would hope. Well, uh, uh, mentally linked to Violet, I assume. I mean, we have radios, but Violet goes to mental. Okay. She actually mentally connects to the radios, just to make it easier. You got Wi-Fi? Oh, wait, is that Bluetooth? No, Wi-Fi we're about. And these guys <laughs> are working with some highly advanced tech. They've got whatever comes after Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 2. And whatever comes after Wi-Fi 2, maybe even. Z-Fi? Ooh. I like it. Abby and Snickers, surprisingly able to hold the cool. I'm seeing the shuttle just kind of parked in, like, a, you know, empty deserty patch. And then maybe, like, you've got a little awning set up out the back. Where you've been sat in the shade and Snickers can lay in the sun, in the hot Moroccan sun. Sounds good. Yes, this is the life. Feels good. I miss did, eating humans. <laughs> did doing doing what Tara and I so affectionately now call lizarding? Lizarding. Yeah, sunbathing. Hmm. Basking. Guy gets out of the cab. Um it seems to be an apartment complex. Uh Karim, maybe just a perception? Just vision? You've got the gear to gear, such bonuses. Okay, you lose track of him, but you're still talking to Chase, and Chase is like, I've, I've got his GPS here, bro. <laughs> That'll give you more than a plus two. Plus the hyperspectral vision, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. That will likely assist. Um, I think I'd like another shadowing from... Shadowing people. Sure thing. Are you including me in that? Uh, no. Okay. Although maybe I should, but I think you get like a plus five from doing it from, you know, a butter glider or building tops. Oh no, that's, that might be when you can teleport, you get a plus five. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Maybe a plus two, plus three. I'll get you a plus two. Okay. I feel fair confident that Quinn has been uh, tracking from like rooftops. Oh, that's actually a failure because I still had it set to dexterity. You're still all right. You don't think that guy spots you? What we is penalties based on distance, uh, and Violet and Quinn. Absolutely no problem tailing this guy back to his apartment. Uh... Violet, roll me stealth, please, as well. Uh, 
I mean, Violet's more about the hide in plain sight type thing, anyways. Yeah. Sticking with crowds and cafes and stuff like that. So, Quinn, I think you've still got general eyes on Violet, you think? Okay. Uh, she's cool. changed clothes like three times in the course of the times you've been following her and didn't have time to do so. That's impressive. She is incredibly she is very impressive. Yes. Yeah, Sugoi! Kakui! Te gusta. Te gusta mucho. <laughs> uh-huh. And the guy goes in. Quietens down. Seems to be staying there. Uh, the building itself. Give me observation. Oh yeah, you both pick it up. It's a fairly standard for the area, little apartment building. Um, two apartments on each floor over three floors. His is on the top to the north side. Um, sort of open to the air staircase that goes up in between all the apartments. All that, what do you call it? Stucco. 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 Not like an Italian gangster, then. Uh-huh. Cool. And it'll stay there for like 30 minutes. Which is uh, present. <laughs> he might stay longer. Mm -hmm. Is there... Oh, yeah, sorry. With your observations, you pick up... This someone guarding him. He has got someone here. He didn't have anyone while they were traveling around. But there is definitely someone here whose job seems to be to guard him. Currently stood on the little balconies outside the apartments on the top floor, smoking a cigarette. Well, that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry that he's got guard. What floor of the building is the apartment on? Third floor. It's only three stories. Okay, so it is the top floor. Yeah. Kadima uh, will land on the roof and kind of watch from the the edge. Stealth, please. Yeah. Much better at that. So, I think Quinn is on, like, a roof opposite... What? Like across the street. That was so, only ten. Is you still want... set to DX base? Yeah. It, it sometimes defaults to tens, and you have to reset it. Yeah, it might have plus three or plus two. Yeah. Okay. There it goes. So that's actually a success by three. Okay. <laughs> I was a little concerned there for a moment. Panic attack. Uh, do, we want, do you want perception rolls on opposed stealth checks? Uh, uh, yeah, give me a Because I think checks. Quinn is like hiding opposite on the other Kadeem. side. Yeah. Yeah, like on a rooftop opposite. So success by five. You notice Kadim. Kadim does not notice you. Mostly because cool. he's looking down, I think. Like, directly down at this guy. Let's, uh... Let's just... Uh, I, I suspect you're not on the same side as Violet anyways. But I was rolling just for good measure. Mm -hmm. I just need to change my colors. Alright, so you got roof of the apartment buildings to the right and then just underneath that no change the color you bastard just underneath that you got the balcony which is where the guy smoking the cigarette is stood in between there's a street and then you got the same business on the other side Let 
and just jam some stairs in. Where's me lovely stairs? Mmm, gorgeous. Yeah, no. Nayeth. There we go. That sort of deal, but you know. Three sets through. I should probably stick a couple of doors in. Using roll 20 almost like it's intended here. All right. Yeah, perfect. And there's a railing that, you know, goes above waist height on these sides. And the roof itself has also got a lip that you can crouch and hide behind. So Quinn's like here. Legit. You're right opposite each other. And... and of course, Kadim is in the full grimdark getup, so faintly yeah. gro glowing red eyes and skull-shaped mask, and then dark flowing cloak with a uh, medieval-looking armor underneath. With all Quinn's bonuses, even with the bonuses that I'm sure Violet and Kadeem have got also, you still do not spot her. Whereas Quinn, you will spot Kadeem make his landing off the butter glider onto the roof over there. Okay. And then I can see, like, into the apartment balcony. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get the smoking guy on. Generics. There we go. And this guy's got the entire top floor? Uh, no, there is another apartment to the south that seems to be unrelated. Okay. I think just keep observing. Um, so it, it's just this one lone guy? For the guard. Yeah, like, yeah, there's nobody else. Like, if I'm scanning through, there's nobody else in the apartment except Whoops. the target. Or possibly adjacent other apartments? Mm, next door, there are, like, five people at least in there. Probably just a normal family. Cool. Mm -hmm. Well... I think, uh, from here, Quinn, uh, grabs something out of their, their belt and, uh, Sorry. hits a button and the bow, like, expands out of it. Ooh. Which side was the building that actually had the person at? The left side. The Kadeem side. Sorry, I'm trying to send this to the map player. Kinda of looks like it's already there. There we go. Sorry. So Violet's gonna be there, but chilling on the first floor. Or the okay. ground level. Cool. Cigarette guy will stop smoking, turn around. Generally just stand around a bunch. Probably spend another 30 minutes watching him. Uh, you know what? Alright, how long would this, this have others... been? Uh, they've Sorry. been out for a good four hours. So you've just been kind of sat around the shuttle all afternoon. The sun she has set. out of her damn mind. Uh, 
gonna start heading their direction. Righty, being tighty. a troublemaker. And yeah, Violet, being... I forgot about that. So, so yeah, you are aware of everyone's location. At the very least, the people in the. Yep. Cool. Yeah. And this uh, extra person on the roof across the street. And that said, though, like, I suspect that they're still blending. Like, there's lots of things over there. There are, yeah. Potentially, you've. Have you got any kind of psi shielding or mind shielding on any of your items, Quinn? Uh, no. No. So, yeah. I'm thinking at the moment she could easily just have mistaken it for another person in an apartment. Yeah, to be fair, with the distance. Exactly. It, it could just be someone in the top room of that apartment. I mean, and it's, Quinn's good at stealth. It's flat rooftops as well, so there's no reason that people might not be on tops of buildings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so I think Abby got bored and Quinn might be about to act. Well, so Quinn is going to uh, take, uh, take one of her rope lines and set an anchor on this side of the wall. Mm-hmm. And she's going to knock a piton arrow. Draw it back. You still being super stealthy. Yeah, she... Uh, uh, they are being stealthy. Sorry. Yeah. Um, like, they're, they're, they're not even firing yet. They're, they're just getting ready to act. Mm -hmm. It, it's not even the guard on the roof. It's... The guy, or the guard on the balcony, it's the guy on the roof. Mm hmm The, the street below isn't dead quiet either. There are people walking past, um, quite frequently. And just to the south, it's a busier main road. And there's lots of bars and, uh, restaurants open on it still. After a while of waiting, uh, Violet's going to do something because it just looks weird to be standing out there. But I, I suspect other people are acting first. Yeah, by the way, uh, it, it's dark out now, right? Yep. So, yeah, uh, Abby is going to be going from like rooftop to rooftop doing that stretchy cartoon character thing where her arms and limbs are really long like whoop yep you know just from I'll even put a gif in there uh, do you need a stealth yeah if you are trying to be sneaky No one screams or points up at the spaghetti creature that is worming across the rooftops. And Chase can point you in the direction you need to go. Is Chase allowed to help me anymore? I thought he was told I wasn't allowed. Oh yeah, Chase isn't allowed to help you anymore, that's right. So I can figure it out. you're very I'm likely doing it. to get lost for a little while. Well, let's see how long that is, because it... this has been hours. Yep, she's very lost. <laughs> like on the outskirts of the city or whatever. She somehow found Madagascar. I mean, you can just say when she, when you want to get her there, Luke. Maybe never to this location. <laughs> but you'll get yourself into something. Is it these that you're looking for? I mean, I'm looking for this guy in particular because that's the job. Oh, okay. So the person that you meant to be shadowing. Got it.
I may just bird my serendipity and literally slingshot into um, the the new girl. At oh some yeah, point. the city is not laid out anywhere close to resembling a grid. No. Oh my god. I imagine it's quite complex. Look, if you want, if you want to allow that, I could legitimately like slingshot face first into Quinn. If you want to use serendipity, I'll let you land on Quinn. But she's such ninjaed into the street work. Oh yeah, you wouldn't I'll even realize. It. You you might not even realize you've landed on a person when you do it. You you land on the predator. Pretty much. Well, then I'll face. I will pull my serendipity to face plant face first into what I thought was going to be, you know, like ground. It feels softer no. than and rooftop. Then get like yeah. tangled up in her. Yeah. Or however you want to do it. Remember, because I immediately get bad luck after that cause havoc. Well, the guard's so. obviously going to look up and see that shit. Say like the fuck, but probably in French. Black or blue, sac bleu. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est? Which means that that's when Kadim's gonna have to do the Batman, like reach down from the roof and yank him up. You absolutely could go for that. I feel like it'd be a wrestling check of sorts. Judo, potentially. Uh, what if I use the whip? Uh, the whip could also do it. Yeah, let's do a whip entangle. Uh, combat is the tab that I'm looking for, pardon. To the neck. Yeah, the neck's, uh, what, negative... Four, five? Negative Forget five it. for neck. Balls. His back's turned. I was about to suggest. All out? Uh, Just telegraphed. But you could also go all out. All out and telegraphed would, would get me there. Yeah, it would. Uh, so, I'll allow it. Neck entangled. Then... Um... You kind of spot that as you realize a rubbery person. You probably definitely know who she is. Abby Normally has landed on top of you. Quinn. Uh, so, no sound is made. Um, I think running through their head, Quinn is like, oh, fuck, and then stands up and is gonna fire off that arrow so first point second point half range penalty did you fail the uh, fast draw the you... didn't need the fast draw because the arrow was already knocked oh you did You're very lucky because yeah that's a 17 on the fast draw row. uh huh well done Um, so that, minus, sorry, I didn't realize this was going to, 65 feet? Oh, what? oh, my bad. It's 13 hexes. 13 yards. 13 yards, so 13 yards. Two, so that becomes a minus three for range. So I assume that the piton hits the wall. Uh, yep. Pretty much um, wherever you were aiming. So somewhere solid. Okay, but yeah, no, she hits. They hit somewhere solid. Stop misgendering yourself. I know, I'm 
<laughs> I, I mean, I even use they them pronouns, and I still have a hard time with it. Like it's 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 the best the English language offers, but just take some practice. Take some practice. Practice yeah. is what we got all the time in the world for, and that's when the nukes went tough. And then I I think with that, when we'll hook their bow over the the rope and kind of zip line across. That'll be what you're doing next. That would be what you were. No, okay, yeah, you've managed to shake Abby off. Shake her straight off onto the ground. So she's just a pile of spagootla. Oh, I was kind of assuming that Abby was going with enough force that she, like, knocked Quinn over and then just kept going. Because that's also comical. Kind of is, yeah. I mean, it's it's it would be funnier if her leg got tangled up in like the cape or something like that, and she'd be coming with. But that's totally up to you, Luke, of how the chaos ensues. I'll let you get the arrow with that rope off. Okay. And then yeah, you feel that Abby's tangled up in your legs. Okay. So it goes to throw the the bow up and misses. Mm-hmm. Uh, this guy's gonna try and scream out Kadeem, but I think he might struggle with that. Is this the monowire whip? Yeah, I don't have a non-monowire whip. Cool. I was curious about that. I, w I wasn't planning on having to do this, and I think that, like, Kadeem will tighten it, but he's gonna feel bad if he has to kill the guy. Uh, intimidation, maybe? Oh, no, I mean, I've got a million ways to knock him out when it's my turn again. It's... Let's go straight to your turn again. Because this is all happening a bit faster than the other people can react to anyway. With the distance. That's, that's fine. Then I'll, uh... with like, one hand, I'm loosening the, the whip from around his neck. And with the other one, I'm uh, administering a knockout dart like directly into his carotid artery. All right. Uh, roll me the pistol skill or whatever you're darting with. Yeah, I imagine that'd be pistol. That that is to the neck. Okay. Mm hmm. You will cut deep into his throat, and like he goes to scream, but he also seems to be shitting his pants, and you do manage to get him to the ground. Violet, you don't notice any disturbance in the apartment. He doesn't seem to have noticed, somehow. Although Abby is probably being quite noisy across the road. Actually, no, she's not. I'm, I'm... Staying stealthy. She's... She is saying stuff, and, but I was waiting until it was back to us. Which I assume it is now? Yeah. Ah, oh, ninja ghost. I see how it is. I've, I've done bust some ghosts before. And then she's going to start, like, doing the slappy hands thing, you know, the in the general direction. <laughs> Cat boxes. Like the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, while that's happening, can Quinn roll an escape to disentangle her... their legs or cloak? Yeah, give me... give me an escape. You'll need it. You're getting, like, slapped kind of in the torso and face area. And yeah, then you do manage to transition onto the rope and start sliding across. Okay. Uh, uh... Karim, this is when you finally notice him. Unless you're doing this extremely stealthily still. Uh, I think that's the goal. Impose whatever disadvantages you want, or even more likely advantages to spotting them. 
So that's a success by seven. Uh, Kadeem, you, you spot him. There's a predator flying across the, the, the street ziplining. <laughs> Mostly it's you hear the sound of the zipline and see the rope sag. Probably also noticed the arrow that went plunk. Oh yeah, you... at the very least. Where did yeah, that zipline come from? I'm, yeah, if I'm seeing the rope and I think it's coming for me, I apologize in advance, but I think the mono wire whip that I'm already holding in my hand is gonna go out and try and snap that rope. Uh doesn't it currently have a guy it... wrapped around it? I it, loosened it from it around does. his neck. This is all happening in like a couple of seconds. Oh, okay. Uh, go on, maybe Erica. Erica can help. Yeah, actually, Someone Kadeem might notice, something? but he's too busy trying to stop the bleeding from the guy's neck. So, go, Erica. Uh, so yeah, Erica yeah. and Snickers, you would have seen Abby just leave a while ago. You could well have followed Abby. Yes. Um. Impressive, Snickers. Holy crap. Snickers is surprisingly stealthy for how big he is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the exact word I would use. That's awesome. And I'm sure you have no problem also going over rooftops, because you can just slither across. I'm very good at covering gaps that are just as long as they aren't more than three quarters of my body's length. Oh my god, free bridge. How does Erica feel about riding a giant snake? Well, she doesn't have to. Um, but she can how, run there. How often is this opportunity going to come up? <laughs> okay, yeah, she will hop on the snake, and you see that the pug is like, uh, in be like with Abby in between her breasts. Like she's uh, the the little head is just going on top of the little cleavage that goes on her jacket. Yeah, like it's tucked in the front of your coat. <clears throat> she just holds on to the snake for dear life I think you've been given access to talk to Chase Erica, you might not have been told what Chase is yet but you know uh, that the she thinks he's a computer guy. she thinks Chase is an AI so far no, I, I think Chase might be playing the he's just a normal guy routine so far and AIs are really rare in the world. Yeah. Well, like, she just thinks she's so smart that uh, she thinks she's an AI. And she, it, they're just joking that they're actually human. Okay, so you've been calling them a computer. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. As a joke. I like, get nah, you. nah. Yeah, like, she's just joking, like, nah, you're a computer. Like how I, yep, got you. At some point, maybe Chase will say, no, bitch, I'm autistic. <laughs> My special interest is crime. <sighs> and grundles. And yeah, he'll guide you. He'll take you there. So you guys will show up shortly after this. Um, it seems like Kadeem's going to try and cut that rope. But no, he's too busy tending to the guy. So yeah, yeah you'll yeah, make it he's across. Trying to stop the bleeding. Quinn, give me acrobatics, please. Yeah, no problem. Looking good. Abby, predators wrestled free from you and crossed the zip line. Violet, you will spot a mind cross the gap now for sure. Uh, heading upstairs, because also vaguely aware of the disturbance. <laughs> the, the, the jig is up. Kadeem, do you pull the guy up? Or did you drop down? I pulled him up. And... Quinn, presumably you land on the balcony. That's the goal. 
Well, Violet, as you reach, like, just about the top stairs, I'm guessing you're paying attention to this, you'll notice that the mind uh, of interest... Actually, maybe you won't notice. Uh... Perception? Yeah, please. Moves to the door, you do notice. And opens it and steps out. Let's get speeds rolled, please. The guy looks fairly unassuming. Um, 50s, white, male. Average build. That'd be helpful if we had the turn order up. Shut your job. I'm doing it. <laughs> Apparently I'm coming up as Fenrisol for now. That's not right. Nobody can see that but you. No. Cool. Uh, Erika comes in the field full the armor on top of snakes. You want to label the head and the feet? <laughs> My bad. Snake! Uh, it's giving me no character was found for selected. When I try to roll initiative. Uh, have you selected your character on the map? Yep, it is selected. I'm definitely I'm holding your that. It's a syntax error. Should work now. Should work? Okay. Ah, I don't know what happened. Jesus. You've got enhanced time sense as well, right? Oh, yes. right. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, as well as that. Yes. So, sort of as you're approaching, Snickers, you'd likely notice, and other people have likely noticed this before, because you'd change your appearance, right? Erica? Yes. Uh, Erica now looks a bit different. She has uh, a full sort of set of armor uh, that looks strangely organic. But she has a cape and, and heels and everything, and she looks far fairly uh, fairly different. So like, a, uh, it covers the entire face. It's got like horns, yeah. right? It's fully sealed. Not not horns. They look a little more more like antenna that just pop out. Okay. Like that. Like, uh, it looks like a lot of muscle, enhanced muscle with bones, with like, uh, okay, enhanced so thick skin, stuff like that. It's very organic look. Yes. Very organic looking. Oh, that's terrifying. Well, you'd be up first. Agreed. Uh,. Erica tries to see the situation, like, wh what is happening right now? Does anybody need help? Uh, I heard somebody being entangled with monowire. Uh, yeah, you'd see Grimdark tending to that across on the other roof as Snek has slithered over here. You see Abby, uh, was, like, just slapping somebody or something that slid across. It's pretty much just a fuzzy shape. That you saw blur across the gap. Okay. And uh. that guy, the guy that everyone's been looking at pictures of, the guy who is the target, has stepped out of an apartment across the street. Maybe it's best if I help get that guy subdued as quickly as possible. My movement should be... I think it has movement is... Uh, we have instant like acceleration. Movement? It's just your base move on the first turn. I need to get that one. Okay. My base movement would be 10. Uh, even if, with enhanced movement? Yeah. Because you still have to accelerate. So. Okay. Yeah. So you spend one turn going up one more step of enhanced move. It's why it took me so long to get up to full speed as Elton. Got it. 
I think the plan uh, was to, need to remember it. capture. That is gap right there. Gap. Like, yeah, uh... like it's a it's a three story drop to the street. Oh, okay, okay. Uh... It's two meters or three meters, two and a half meters from here to there, and then like ten meters from there to there. How do you do a running jump? You run and then jump. So could she run this uh, up to here on this turn and then jump on the next turn and try to jump the next? How does that work? Yeah, it'd just be you run and then you attempt to jump. Um, that that would be two meters down though, and that's on stairs as well. So that would be more like three meters down, also still on stairs. So here? Or... Yeah. That... Sorry. Either of those would be good. Um... Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think she can be over here. So she swoons in front of Abby, like preparing to jump. Mm -hmm. And that's her turn. And you've uh, got um... time rate, so you've got another turn. Oh, okay. Uh, she jumps. Trying to jump, like, around here. Jumping or acrobatics please what's your long jump distance with a run of 10 uh, <laughs> distance. where do I see that one uh, so, oh on. jumping uh, over here long jump broad jump uh, with a b -b 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 is eight feet two point six yards broad ten. Is that correct? With my double your defense? move minus three feet. It's it's got it on the sheet. Oh okay. Uh have you got the jumping skill? Uh no, but I have like a a jumping kick. Could I try have to you... use that if I can hit him? don't think you've have... got the range on this at this speed. You'd want to be spending more turns gaining speed before you attempt that jump. Okay, so just to jump there uh, without any jumping skill. I have running, but not jumping. It'd be acrobatics. Okay. Wait. So what what are you trying to do right now? Trying jump to get across. to the other side. Yes. Radio, with the 10 meters of movement. Yeah, and since this is the second time, I'm not sure if it applies to have the full uh, running speed now. A second? No, because you, you'd like... run and jump. You'd want to jump once you've reached the full speed, I'm pretty certain. Okay. I'm just new to this. Uh, super speedy heroes. Uh, okay, so uh, just trying to get to the other side. That's my goal. Yeah. You're not going to make it. I'm not and you'd make know it. that. Um, what would I have to do then? Run if more. I know I'm not run run more to gain speed. Like around? Okay. Uh, you'd likely want to, you know, do something more like this. Okay, let's go with that then. Uh, Quinn. So spend two turns just running there. Yep. Okay. Oh, I don't know why my sheet is like uh, going down every time I cl click on Erica. Here, right? Or was it here? The, ah, that's fine. As long as okay. you spend two turns getting to there. And you'd, you'd be going even faster at that point, actually. But let's just move on a okay. sec. Have a, have a quick look at, you know, some of your stuff before we get back to your yeah. game. Quinn. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah. All right. So Quinn, that guy pops out the door. Quinn does that. Um, you fast draw an arrow. Fast draw an arrow. We're going to aim for the... We're going to just aim for a leg. Leg is minus two. Ranged. 
This is actually at a zero range. So, where is it? Where is it? We're just going to go to the first point. So, minus two. Oh, actually, plus two or three. Because the ACC, Jesus. Okay, we hit him in the leg. One sec. My bad. That'll do. For an 11. I skipped past too many people. Wow. Yeah, they do not attempt to dodge 11 on the crit table, did you say? Yes. Uh, normal, I'm pretty certain. All right. Yep. So 12 crushing. Divide that by 0.5. Mm-hmm. It but... seems... In fact, it'll break. I'm pretty certain. Let me check. No, it doesn't break, but uh, it does bounce off harmlessly. We out even looking like it's touched him. This guy's just wearing normal clothes. He's in a dressing gown now. Okay, but check the linked. Mm -hmm. the, the, the zap doesn't do anything to him either? Nope, it just bounces away. You see the spark go off and everything. Balls. Snickers. Hmm. So, uh, if I'm understanding the plan that was the plan that was not explained to me uh, uh, out of character, I, I think don't capture this guy. Their <laughs> idea was to follow him and see who he met. Uh, it never got explicitly said. Goes. No one explicitly said do not capture him. Uh, but I think what got said was I, do not kill him. I, I think Lee actually literally said, "Let's not capture him." No, I, I, feel like, okay. I think it was let's not kill him. Like if we have to, let's capture him, won't it? Lee, you should know what you said, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was pretty clear about the not capturing. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so that's a kill him thing? Uh-oh. No, I mean, that was not the follow. implication. It was a not, uh, don't, don't, don't engage with him. Follow, it, if it comes to that kind of thing, he gets away. So be it. Cool. Snack is but just like, slithering out forward. of character, I knew that would never happen. Yeah, I'm just going to slither forward. I cannot capture Erica to fuck to stop her from fucking up the plan. So, I mean, the there plan is already fucked up. So, like, nobody should yeah. feel terribly oh. bad about reacting how they react. No, Abby fucked up okay. the plan. I mean, I I'm sure we can blame the archer somehow. Oh yeah, there's this so... rando archer. You're saying I should bite Abby? <laughs> yes, that's what we've, they've all been saying for the past like three months is you should buy Abby <laughs> in every Waller. situation. Four levels of telegraphed? Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Snake bites you, Abby. Violet. Just... Uh, does Abby want to dodge or anything? Can't. You're behind me. Oh. Deal damage. Do I deal damage to you? Aren't you immune to impaling? You still takes it. I still take damage. Twenty-four. So, I was about to ask whether or not the other roof had a commotion that was like loud enough to notice. Definitely. That sounds yeah. like it probably is now. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I think Violet does that weird thing where, like, you look at the crazy shit going on. You look at the other bystander that's standing near you. You look back at the crazy shit. You look back at the bystander. 
mm-hmm. she's having a moment with the guy because the invisible person isn't really visible. Yeah, I think at this point someone will like be like, "What is going on up there?" <laughs> you know, Vi- Violet is acting like a bystander that happens to be nearby. Uh-huh. But she is also paying attention to the guy because that is a weird ability he's got. You get to join in on the gawking for sure. Uh, Abby, snake biting. I mean, the snake probably was told to make sure Abby didn't come and fuck this up. Hello? I'm still here. Whatever. I'll climb the rope. Radio, stretch onto the rope. So this guy is gonna hiss. And when he does so, his tongue is long and forked as it comes out of his mouth. He takes a step back as he turns and brings his hands together and starts making some strange gestures with him. Is it my kin? (laughs) Maybe. He's got a snake tongue, for sure. And... Yer, a bolt of lightning is going to come out of his hands. In this general direction. Um, you got your chameleon surface on right now, correct? Correct. Uh, oh, still a potential hit. You may dodge. Uh, it's a ranged attack, though. Oh, God damn it! Wrong set of tabs again. Easy dodge. Uh, Kadeem. Kick flip off wall. Does the uh, lightning bolt make any noise? Uh, yeah, a loud crack, like a whip. Okay, then yeah, Kadeem will stand up and, and look over. Uh, there's still smoke like coming from that guy's hands, and he's got him outstretched in a pretty classic spell casting position. Do I have time to make a, an actual action? Probably not. Uh, no, it would have been a change posture and look. Yeah. Okay. Wipe blood off blouse. Okay, so let's actually take a quick break. Just five minutes or so. Uh, because we have been going over an hour. So yeah, we'll be right back. Trans- We're back. Uh, so, Alita, you're up. You're not going to make this oh, jump okay. if you try it. In fact, you're yeah. at a point where you're already going to kind of fall off the roof. Give me an acrobatics, please. Okay, let me give you an acrobatics as uh, she tries to stop herself. Wow. You will still have to switch to here, but I see you as stood on the railing of this balcony. Yeah, uh, she just stumbles, but makes it and sighs in relief inside the, the suit. And then you get your second turn because of uh, alter time, right? Uh, she just looks around and says, uh, wait, it, it, does she see that Snakes is biting Abby? Yeah, you'd see that Snakes bit an Abby. I guess she turns and uh, says with her mind... No, bad snake. Bad. Put Abby down. Quint. So this guy fired lightning at you. Uh, took a step back. Well, that's not nice. Do you say that? Oh, no you don't. No, no. Quinn doesn't say a damn thing. Quinn does. Whip out another arrow. And shoots it at this person. Just torso. 
as a potential hit. Ooh. They are going to attempt to dodge. That is not a dodge. You hit. So that right. will tangle them. Yes. Spreads out and wraps around. Victim cannot select move or change posture. Yep. Minus four to DX. Cool. Snickers. Um, I guess since we're doing actual combat and I no longer have to worry about, I guess the plane's already a food bar at this point, Snickers will realize, uh, he'll let go of Abby and start slithering down. Uh, can you just use climb to start slithering down there? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be doable. You're almost long enough to just slither straight down, probably. Show me climbing. Oh yeah, no problem. Violet? Uh, Violet's gonna duck down to the the, the stairs she's on and head to the north, but on the second level. Okay. Abby? I just kick climbing across. She's gonna start stretching across. Cool. I I got the rope. Remember? Oh, you climbed onto the rope. Yes. Climb across the rope. Jeff climbing. No, but it's a rope that goes down. She could literally just be holding on to it. She's doing the slide thing. Yeah. Doesn't it go horizontal? Ever so slightly no, it was set down. Up to, it was set up to be a zipline. I think there's probably... Because we, we sat staring at each other for like 10 minutes. I think uh, it was like enough time to go find an anchor point on something taller than the roof. It's got to be like an antenna or something. I saw the thing about the uh, the motorized winch and assumed that's what you were using. That oh, yeah. Me. Okay, yeah. Just give me a DX check, please, Abby. Cool. Mm, he's going to pull something out of his pocket. You can't quite see where it is. It's tiny. It's like a handheld item. And he says, in French, you don't want to fuck with me. Kareem. So, the, uh, also the okay. way I see the tangler is, it sort of like spreads as an aerosol and then quickly turns into this sticky, webby stuff. That is kind of... That's what it's supposed to be, uh... Yeah, like pinned him down to the ground and the balcony around him. But, uh, you know, he, he still had hands free to get into his pockets and stuff. He just can't move around right now. But yeah, Kadim. Um, I'm going to fire the Vortex pistol at the guy. I'm, I'm going to shoot the Vortex pistol at the guy. Just generally at the guy? Potentially a hit. Are you rolling something? Um, I was checking to see what his <laughs> okay. penalties to dodge were while tangled. I think it's just generally what's implied by the minus four to DX. So he fails to dodge it. Okay, so um, it's a skin contact agent, HT minus six. That's going to get him. Uh, unconscious for a number of minutes equal to the margin of er uh, failure. And then... Uh, 
regular sleep after that. Okay. Uh, yeah, his head will rock back, his arms go limp. The thing that he pulled out will drop from his hand. And what Quinn sees is a uh, uh, kind of like a slightly iridescent ring of smoke Oof. kind of rocketing across and then bursting in a cloud and dissipating when it hits him. I know exactly what it is. It's that, that kid's toy thing. Azuka. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Nice. God, we had some fun with those. <laughs> Uh, mm. It clings as it hits the the floor. It's a little glass vial, but it does not break. Oh. Uh, so let's just briefly end combat. Abby, you finish climbing across. Snickers, and I'm guessing Alita, cross the road. Yeah. There are people gathered in the street, generally people pointing at Snickers and screaming. People pointing up at Abby, crossing the rope. A few shoutings. That guy is Someone secure the ghost. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Kadeem is gonna vortex pistol shot it. The ghost. I think the ghost is darting into the door. You potentially get vortexed, ghost. All right, ghost is going to. Oh. Do some really bad at is there a bonus if you crit success on that? I feel like it's plus three. I feel like it should right. be. So probably just a plus one since, you know, it's technically a shot from the back. Yeah, side. Run around attack. Ducks and rolls and into the door. Hey, don't mention what happens on a critical success, but yeah, I'm happy we have plus three. Are and you then, yeah. farther away than one yard from the impact point? Oh, the... Yes. Would be, yeah. So they duck into that apartment room. And Luke, you know exactly what they start looking for. Mm hmm. Give me a search, please. The pilot's going to head up the outside of the railing and then start searching the guy. Tangled. It's got a few pockets full of little jingly jangly little glass things. She'll carefully start removing those, and if she notices the one that dropped, she'll pick it up, but if she doesn't, then so be it. Success by 12 on that search? You spot it instantly. Uh, almost definitely the thing where it's going to be a ruggedized military laptop. Alright, grab it. You also spot the, you know, massive stacks of tomes and books, and what looks like, you know, a 19th century chemistry set bubbling away. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, uh, grab the laptop, stick it in the bag that I've got my other computer in. Readied and put in. People on the top floor as well, what, what else are you doing? Other people. I guess Erica is running all the way down and then all the way up. That won't take you very long. You arrive... Like at the same time as Snecker's slithers up, but Abby, you land on the other side first. You've spotted that shadow thing, the ghost moving inside. I'll slap it more. Run up and start slapping more. 
Again, non-lethal, non-like anything, just that slap on someone's head for the rest of the episode. So yeah, you'd, you'd turn Quinn after stuffing the laptop into your bag, and suddenly your general area is getting slapped some more. Pop the hood off and just be like, hands out, like Exasperated defending gesture, or... Yeah, yeah, the exasperated gesture, just like, stop, 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 stop! <laughs> He'll stop, but reach into a garter and try to pull out a vacuum cleaner. I think you just get, like... Is this one of those old-fashioned vacuum cleaners with, like, the big cloth bag. Yeah. Yeah, you get it. And she turns it on to try to suck up the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I think at this point the ghost is completely visible, and they're just standing there, I think just blinking in disbelief at a, at a vacuum cleaner? Like, what just happened? Yeah, you're getting vacuumed. Yeah, like the uh, the edge of the chameleon cloak gets sucked into the vacuum and it makes a like <laughs> sound. Lap the vacuum nose away and just be like, yeah. She's like waving her hands in front of her. Uh, I'm sorry, they're they're waving their hands in front of you, and. Uh, Stop! Push, pushing you away. She's going to keep suctioning parts and look at the other two in the room and go, I got it! Chase will say to whoever's listening, I've got money on this being the person who sent us the link to this guy's tracker. Well, I'm done with this guy. I'm heading in. Like... The beam drops down and starts pulling him onto the butter glider for Chase to bring back somewhere safe. You hear, like, Sacre Bleu is downstairs. Like, what is happening up there? So we're all pausing and not responding, but I think we're all taking physical actions as yeah. we do so. Yeah. Kadeem, you say you you were loading the unconscious wizard guy. Yep. Uh, he is tangled currently in place. Oh, to the ground. Okay. Yeah. To the ground and balcony as well. It's formed like thick, gloopy strands. Okay, well then, Kadeem will load a special round into his Vortex gun and give him a nice puff of musk right in the face. What does that do again? It's like it's a track, right? Smell horrible, yeah. Yeah, we're going to use it to track him. You have fart grenades? No, fart I have grenades. a fart Vortex gun. <laughs> I like the idea that she says that, though. <laughs> At least canisters of high-powered, high-potency fart gas. Stinks strongly for 14 days, oh my less God. one day per hour spent washing with a high-tech detergent. I'm glad her suit is sealed. But wait, wait, no, I don't think I made it sealed. I don't know how to make it sealed. Never mind that. You had the sealed advantage. I'll have to check how much that costs later and add it with the a hundred percent cost of the time acceleration. <clears throat> Someone will have poked the red at uh, this other apartment door by now, and just be like, "What? What's going on over there?" And then see a giant snake and scream and slam their apartment door. Great kind of stealth. I mean, yeah, nobody's going to remember us. All they're going to remember is the giant snake. 
uh, upon seeing the what's inside the actual apartment, Violet swears a bunch and can, can somebody deal with the public? Like stall them? Like don't get arrested? But we we can't just run, leave this. Maybe not you. I, I just see you, like, walking in, and Abby has got Wynn, like, on the ground, and she's just vacuuming the the, the hair. Yeah. Like, it's 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 the, like, wide-brimmed, uh, it, it's, the, like, the long metal hose bit with a, like, wide brim mm -hmm. kind of vacuum, so she's just, like, currently, like got it and just going up and down your back trying to like suck up, suck up. <laughs> Abby could, could could you maybe take your friend somewhere else I think the police are coming oh and Snickers yeah absolutely when you when you do that hiss people scream and flee the streets happy snake face which is also intimidating actually yeah I imagine so when it's a giant metallic snake with uh, huge chompers. Just dripping venom. Bloop. Bloop. When will make another escape check at this point? Can I bite Quinn? Just to get free. You could try. Success by six. Uh, yeah, you'd you know, shake yourself out from underneath the vacuuming. Abby, you realize you just vacuuming rug suddenly. Uh, okay, so. I'll head over to Violet and uh, uh, start signing in sign language. Violet seems a lot more interested in the the books and the weird alchemy stuff, but does take a moment and look looks your way. And after a couple moments, she seems to understand. What? Can you repeat yourself? Uh, Erika knows sign language, if you need help. Yeah. Uh, so Erika yeah, so, see what you're saying as well. Well, that depends. What, what sign language does Erika speak? Well, I, I, the gesture thing said that was enough to do sign language. I'm not sure what that... Oh, unlocks. you've got the gesture skill. Yes. That's... that's different that's not for yeah that's not for like the actual sign languages uh, like oh, i've got oh, i've yeah. got the sign language as a language a language, a language. Oh. American, yeah. American sorry, sign language. I, I, sorry i've actually got it for it is spain's sign language nice L ls lsc e I put it. I don't remember. It's LSE. LSE, yes. What did you say? What were you saying? What were you trying to say to Violet? So Vi Violet says in Arabic and signs in the language that you're signing in, but she actually doesn't know the name of. Can you repeat yourself? What was that? Uh. Yeah, uh, you, you get a sign back. Um. Can you can you get your friend off me? If you agree to go with us, yes. Abby, can can you and your new friends maybe take this outside? I No 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 no. And this one actually you could probably get from the jester because she's not <laughs> saying anything. She's just doing the like waving. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> 
And then... Yeah, Quinnell. Like, what were you looking for? This isn't the place for a conversation. We need to get what we can and go. Police coming. Hey, Snake! Yes, I know. How can I help? Uh, she gestures towards the books. Ow. Kadeem has come in and started going through them, too. Snake stuff. Snake, books. look around for anything with an aura. Oh. I thought you were going to have me swallow books. God, no. I respect... I like books. Uh, Snickers will begin looking around. Roll perception, please, Snickers. Uh, yeah. Some of these books are distinctly magical. All of those little glass beads and marbles that that guy would carry in a magical... I just realized my point total is way behind you guys. Possibly. Probably. Can Quinn do a scan around the room with hyperspectral and see if there's any like hidden rooms or mm -hmm. lockbox? You, you've already seen that it's pretty clear from that search check you did. Okay. Uh, this laptop was also like hidden away underneath a desk, but you found it straight away. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think there is a safe that has not been opened yet. Oh. Uh, get to work on opening that. Classic rotary safe. Quinn's got the whole lockpicking rig and everything. I think, uh, I think I'd want a lockpicking not... probably minus five. But you've probably got enough bonuses to Offset that. that. Quinn opens a safe that also contains something very magical. Uh, it is a goblet. Fairly plain, but made of gold still. Should probably grab that too. Yeah, Kadeem, I think, makes a move to grab it very quickly. Yoink. And as well in there, he he just had his French passport, Nirvana EU Enclave travel document. All right, uh, I... Snickers will offer to carry whatever you want him to. Uh, Aka you... treasure stomach. Will you damage things that you carry? Because the books are books. I... A trash bag first. Does he have trash bags on yeah. this thing? Yeah, there's, you find some trash bags. Perfect. They'll be fine. <laughs> You're able to fuck them. <laughs> right. open now. Just, just don't swallow <laughs> anything magical. I swallowed many magical things in my lifetime. What do you think I ate? There were no humans. They were humans. Souls. They were pretty tasty. Non-magical humans. Mm, souls. Because that's where you draw the line? Everybody's gotta have standards. No, it's just scarcity. I'm a snake, what do you want from me? <laughs> uh, I think we need to grab what we can and go at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Erica will help you pack as much as you can into... Snake stomach. Yep, the, the trash bag thing was a good idea. You can't really oh, get God. all of it still by any means, but you managed to get everything that were obviously magical that you spotted. And you can get around uh, half of the books. Can I throw Kadeem... you some skill checks to get make sure we get the right books? Yeah. Kadeem's gonna bash up the, the chemistry set, the alchemy set, when... As you leave, out. just kick yeah. the shit out of it. I'm locking that demon one. Okay.
I imagine Snake now looks like a flat snake. He's got some bulges. Mm. You'd like we more books, books, but then you hear sirens approaching. At the very least, get a record of what books are here. Via taking a picture of the bookshelf as we let go. That's highly doable. I can also when... swallow the magic guy, if you want. So that well... one will have to go in the Edie stomach. Well, uh, they are... Uh... Distracted? Yeah, distracted. Quinn will head outside and uh, retrieve the, the arrow out of the wall. Piton arrow. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the electric arrow and the, the pieces of whatever the tangler is. Just not leaving any evidence. Mm-hmm. You know, and retrieving the other two. Did we get the guy separated from the Tangler stuff? I didn't really try. Fair. No. That that shit takes a solvent. There's a yeah, specialized just... solvent that I'm sure anyone with Tanglers has also got access to, and I'll allow you to have some. Yeah, it's better to just leave them here. It also dissolves on hell. its own after a short time. Violet will spend the 30 seconds or so she needs to get a good look at his brain. She's not going to study in depth, but possibly later. Mm -hmm. Give me the... Yeah, is that success by 18? Yeah, it was a good roll. Yeah, and, a, and a really good skill. 2, 4, and 6. Yeah, there's magical defenses in there. Or at least you're assuming fair. that they're magical. But you do manage to glean a fair bit, including the sort of vague, you know, location, route to what seems to be a temple. It's in a cave, you know that much. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you catch glimpses of the journey out there, which is indeed up into the mountains. So after like 30 seconds of just sort of staring at the guy out on the balcony, Violet says, I know where he, I know where he's going. Perfect. When we'll do that after you hand motion. Siren, get a bit louder. I think you might start to hear the sounds of an helicopter in the distance as well. She nods and gestures with her, sort of with a shrug to follow her. Who's the least stealthy person here? Kadeem hops on the butter glider and holds out his hand for uh, Abby. No, I'm not the least stealthy person. That's Everest's new character. Yeah, I think she's very oh, yeah. clearly... No, unless she goes normal human, she's very visible. Yeah, it's still going to be Abby because... um, There's the impulse control thing, so she obviously <laughs> needs the, uh, the ride back more than... Sure. Yeah. If that's still the case, yeah, then she'll take her hand. Any excuse Plus, to... Kadeem's... Yeah, Kadeem's not above using his Should wiles we... to get his way. Yeah. If we, we want, I can swallow Erica. You mean if you want? Uh, Violet heads that away and looks back to see if the newcomer is following. Uh, yes. Uh, she's moving pretty quick, but it's kind of assuming that you can do the same after seeing the vaulting across the, the gap. 
Uh huh. Your magic in action. And okay, Snickers, you've got no trouble slinking away, even when a helicopter approaches. It's kind of amazing how how you do that. What's your size modifier again? Four. 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 Cool. Yeah. Mhm. Mm the helicopter stays around that block of apartments, and the sirens, you know, go past you as you're all making your way across rooftops in the sky. Um. I figure maybe we have like a safe house we're rendezvousing at. That's possible. It's also not too long a journey to get to the ch -ch 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 shuttle. That's fair. The shuttle might be the safe house. I think maybe we get to the shuttle and then the shuttle can move to a new location that be then becomes the safe house. We could, uh, uh, as, as everybody's running and discussing this, Quinn will uh, uh, grab you by the shoulder, Violet sign over to you. I have a van. The van's very close. Sure. Uh, guys, uh, there's a van, apparently? I think Quinn has already, like, done the follow me and kind of runs off. Yeah, he takes could... everybody through, like, side streets. Cut across a few streets and come upon this uh, disgusting creature of a van. Oh yeah, it is a beat up right. wreck. More rust than van. Yes. And when the door It'll opened, blend better. clearly lived in. Yes. There's like a bed, a place where there's like a small little workshop computer parts all over the place. It's probably some old Russian van. Yeah. Takes three times to close the back door. <laughs> no, you gotta, you gotta, Erica's trying to do it. And then you like muscle in to show how you have to hold the handle up as you pull it as hard as you can. Yes. And then maybe kick it from the other side. Got to lock it in place. And then, yeah. Uh, take off the FL. shuttle. GTFO. Get mm -hmm. the fuck out? Yeah, no, I know what it means. <laughs> I, I, I might have misspelled it. No, that was right. Abby and Kadeem get there first. We'll take the you scenic mean the route. Butter you, you, you mean the butter glider is faster than than Quinn's hunk of junk van? Absolutely. And it doesn't have to deal with Moroccan traffic. Oh, and yeah. streets that don't go in a straight line for more than about a quarter of a mile. You Americans oh and your grids. Oh god. But yeah, you'll wind your way out. Everyone will recoup at the shuttle. Snecker's probably slithering in last. Fair. Yes. I don't These know. These are uncomfortable. Snecker right. didn't have Start to deal with Moroccan traffic. The books have survived. The trash bags do not rupture. That's good. <laughs> so, that was a disaster. Yep. Violet, we... Violet will say in English. Yeah, hadn't we decided that we weren't going to attempt to capture that man and we were instead going to just follow and see who we met? Yes? I don't know if we still have my link up. I think so. We were just in action. I guess? I don't know. I just went with first instinct and what I was told to do and bid Abby. 
Sorry, Abby. <clears throat> what happened in the middle of the plan? Uh, who is this? Ghost. Th that's a good question. Uh, Shulsang, who are you? Ghost? Spells out Q-U-I-N-N. Recites Q U I N N. Quinn? Nods. Do you understand English? Uh she she uh she says yes, I can read your lips. Which is technically true. Looks concernedly at the snake. Kadeem we'll takes his mask off. We'll make a snake face. Well, I, if it's okay with you, we're going to speak in English. I, I can let, make it so they can understand your signs, though. Uh, Quinn gets kind of curious, nods their head, cocks their head a little, and says, how's that? I know some mental tricks, she says in English. Uh, Quinn's eyes actually get a little big at that. Big fear or big awe? Big concern. Fair. Big concern. Fear the mentalists is a good strategy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, that was a debacle, she repeats in English. I, I I think that we might want to move on this cave that they were going to soonish, but first we should figure out what's going on with, with us. Gestures between two groups. Yeah. Really the group of the newcomer. Chase will speak up over people's intercoms who's this peop who who's this Quinn who are they working for why did they want Philippe Chase just just speak out loud over the comms uh, he repeats himself like, Quinn can you hear this I've not got any lips damn it <laughs> 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 yeah, Quinn is just no reaction to it. <laughs> no, no reaction to it. Um, actually, while this is going on, say it again. She's can a ghost. Quinn? Ain't she a ghost, honey? Can can Quinn be working on have like the cryptography going on in in the background on the computer? Like we've we've had this information for a while. It could just be something that's a program that's been running in the background for this whole time, like the drive and everything. Cryptography for like Chase's network. Uh the the group's network at large. Give me a cryptography check, please. Just wanna see how good your algorithms are in general. Snickers is dancing good. Mm, Test uh, by five. You check up on it and like time remaining on the current algorithm is, you know, a few thousand years. Ooh. Uh but you will see that you've like as you check up on it, you've had quite a few what look like directed messages at you. Hmm. Uh scan them, make sure they're nothing dangerous. No, it's uh, they've come through in a very similar format to your SMS text to Violet. Chase has okay. copied that in as identical a way as he can. Take a look. Uh, it gives you a like a temporary key, and then you know you'd see text in there. I'm with the group, but I'm in a separate location. Seems you're deaf. 
Uh, yes. Okay. Why were you after that guy? Seeing as none of them wanted to repeat my question. Uh, he had something that I needed. Which is? Private. She's sus. Chase sus. It's not harmful to Low. anybody, but... Low. It's not harmful to anybody, but, but me. Why is she suspect? Uh, Spoken out loud. She wanted something from him. I think she got it. Tron. That, that was a demon worshipper. You actually... I'm going to say you know a bit better, Quinn. I know a bit better about what? About him. He's not about technically him? a demon worshipper, really. Yeah, you, you say that, and Quin, Quince is not not actually a demon worshipper. Not really. Like, eh. You, you want to quibble semantics? The point is, can we be sure that it's not a like a cursed, like, demonic item? Uh, no. Or, you can be sure. It's not that. Uh, that, that definitely sounds like something I want to throw a detect lies of some sort at. <laughs> uh, Eric, well, I gonna... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Roll the detect lies. I, I prefer body language, but yeah. She seems Same like thing. it. Body language may well be better for uh, someone speaking sign language. That's a good point. Fair. Uh, but no, Quinn is not lying. They are, they're being completely honest. And Erica, what were you gonna say? Oh no, uh, Erica will say, uh, I don't knew at all, bud. Uh, sorry, Violet. Sorry, uh, Audrey or Violet this time. It's Violet. 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 Uh. Uh, why are we bothering questioning when you can do your mind stuff? Because, because it's concerned? disrespectful. <laughs> she's confused mostly because she's new. Like I, I, I have mental tricks. I don't do that. Oh, well, sorry. I don't know the capabilities of it. I just thought it was. Well, never mind me. I mean, they use it to talk to a snake. <laughs> so, out of character, Violet is lying. Ah. <laughs> We've seen you rip. I'm pretty sure Snickers has been around when you rip stuff out of people's mind, right? I I'm pretty sure you're tr you're correct about that. <laughs> she ripped something out of someone's mind about <laughs> twenty minutes ago. Yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, disprove that. I'm just going to make a mental note. Mm -hmm. Silent mental note. <laughs> Not broadcasting it, obviously. Dear diary, the humans did something quite interesting today. <laughs> just not to go blabbing about that. If you want to keep it hidden, he won't go blabbing about it. Oh. Good Snickers. Snickers is so nice. Yeah. Friendly Snickers. Loyal Good Snickers. Snickers. Trust. I miss having eight heads and eating virgins. <laughs> that was accidentally broadcasted. <laughs> blink, blink. Erica quickly takes a step back from the snake. But but yes, also it is really rude to do that kind of thing. You clearly knew about us. A message comes through to you from uh, Chase. Why did you help us with this guy? Uh, enemy of my enemy? 
They want to be friends, Chase says out loud. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Keep them close. So who are you working do you, for? Do, do you have a monitor you can print to somewhere? Just so you can talk to all of us at the same time, Chase? Still say we give him a cell computer. Speakers and all. He's been using the speakers. Intermittently. But Chase will say, fine. And then you'll see that, like, a new Windows popped up on your devices that's got Chase's transcription, as he says it. I mean, friendly is okay, but if we're not swapping what we're doing here, I don't see how we can be that close of friends. Agreed. The enemy of my enemy is my friend has never actually been my experience. Somebody always uses somebody else. But so what's in it for us? I mean, we can be a little bit more friendly than that. Like, <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are obviously interested in the demonic activity, and obviously we're opposed. So that explains the majority of our interest in this affair. Uh... That said, yes, he does have a valid question. Quinn, Quinn will just say, uh, uh, I have valuable skills and I've got bills to pay. What's your affiliation? Currently unaffiliated. Past well, affiliation. You don't exactly pay. Are you wanted by anyone currently? Uh, the U.S. has a bone to pick with me. That point, I kind of takes a step forward, pop, popping out of her breast, and says, "Want to join us?" and extends an arm. There's a pug in a jacket between her boobs, and it's you know. <laughs> Just generally grunting and slobbering. It's Richard's a little dirty. Red. Eyes pointed in different <laughs> directions. So normal looking bug. Oh yeah, standard. Or loaf of bread. <laughs> loaf of bread. <laughs> no, not from this angle. From this angle it's more like a roll that you tried to make in the oven that's gone very wrong. You scored it badly, oh, and it's burnt in a couple oh, of places. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she tries to extend uh, a shaking hand uh, and asks if you would like to join them if he, the USA is coming for you. Uh, yes, and she'll shake your hand, look at the rest of the party. Just so you know, she oh. only joined us like two weeks ago, so she's not in charge of making decisions like that, Chase says. <laughs> oh, you told me as to as take messenger... more initiative, computer. Yeah, I regret that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Go on. Uh, uh, what was your name? Uh, Quinn. But I think Quinn is just, like, shaking your hand kind of nervously, looking, like, directly at Violet, who is obviously the person who's in charge here. I'm mostly concerned whether you can be trusted amongst demonic influences. Are you going to turn on us? Uh, no, fuck those demons. In that, in that case, what are your rates? 
We've already seen what you can do. Uh, I think Quinn's like, uh, I'm not cheap. That's for sure. We're, we're not exactly hurting for cash. So answer the question. Uh, well, I'll stay on retainer for, say, four grand a week, and then hazard pay for missions. Good email. Look at Violet. It's kind of reasonable. He'll Depen not. Depending on how you define hazard pay. Depends on the mission. That can be negotiated. Well, we're, we're about to go tangle with a demonic hotspot. That'll probably be a good way of gauging what you think is dangerous. Uh, Quinn will say, uh, hey, this first one is on the house. show you what I can actually do. You know, while not working against you. Was that you on the cell phone? Oh, with the... the... ping? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was me. Alright, good. Did I not mention that, Sis Jace? Sorry. <laughs> you, you you mentioned you had you thought it was them. You didn't mention you knew it was them. Actually, you're right. I didn't know it was them. Huh. Got to watch those uh, probability remainders. Yeah, I'm a few decimal points low. Well, I couldn't I couldn't blow my cover, but. You seemed like you were about to lose him. I mean, that that's why we were following in pairs. But it's still impressive. My my, my technology technological security is is nothing to sneeze at. Very true. But you'll yeah. agree, Quinn, after seeing the to hack into their systems that we're going to take another 10,000 years at your best algorithm. Uh, yeah, just used a backdoor. So are we, are we hustling? Did you want to head straight to this location? Where is it? Uh, it's up in the mountains. It's, it, well, hills. It's kind of meant to be one of those sort of like long mystic quest type things, but I figure if we're in a hurry, we just skip to the top. That sounds good to me. Is this Chase? Permission to start uh, engines? Besides, eventually, I mean, it's only a matter of time until they hear something happen to that guy. Quinn's, Quinn's just like, wait, 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 wait. And then pops outside and starts unloading everything from the van. Oh, just you want to pull it in? No. She, she Quinn shakes their head. Looks at the van. No. No. <laughs> like pulls all the stuff out of the van and then I think takes a rag, sticks it in the gas pipe and lights it. I'm imagining when those things were when they removed the quilt from the back seat, it was a load-bearing quilt and things start collapsing. <laughs> Yeah, like, the the van was full. Like, there were barely room for three of you to sit in there. But what actually gets transferred over fits in, you know, a couple of big bags. Yeah. It's mostly just a pile of arrows. <sighs> so many arrows. Oh god, that reminds me, actually. I should put these vials somewhere <laughs> careful before we go into combat. Oh, yeah. Kadeem's gonna look through them real quick. Does he recognize any of them? Or what they might be? Not offhand. Um, you figure that the charms... You've seen this kind of magic used before. Before. 
before. You've potentially seen Violet use this kind of magic. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. It, it's a type of alchemy. Um, but a highly esoteric advanced stuff, it seems. They they are put in sort of individual cases on some shelves, and then taped off. Sounds like a good idea. He had them stored pretty uh, methodically in a couple of leather pouches. They, they can stay in those pouches. That seems like a nice way of keeping them secure. Uh -huh. But yeah, uh, I think visiting and cave is in order. To the cave. I honestly think we should potentially maybe call it. I mean, if you want to prep a cave for next week, that sounds like a good plan. I think I'd rather do that, yeah. Than have this session have been a bit of a wash, which I'm sorry for. I think we needed a session to figure out where things were... Yeah. Yeah, it was an intro session for two characters. Like... Mm -hmm. There's still plenty of uh, chat to be done, I feel. That's actually very true. Like, definitely. And you've got plenty of time for conversation here. Well, you guys are quiet, Chase says. As he's, like, taking the shuttle off. I mean, I expect it from a deaf person, but... That's kind of awful. Here it is. <laughs> let, let, let's update those uh, social norms uh, subroutines, what do you think? That's probably a good idea. It's, it's probably a, a grand idea. That's Jake. Erika is... I'm sorry. No, go on. Uh, Erika would just be a little bit on the side, just uh, from out of nowhere, just having this large order of Fries, just eating two for herself, one for the pug. Two for herself, one for the pug. Opened up a massive bag of chips. Crunching. Oh, it, like steak then, fries. Not, <clears throat> steak fries. We decided that like, steak fries were the closest thing to what he was describing. Oh, okay. Wedges, potato wedges, surely. Yeah. Yeah, like she probably passed by and grabbed some from a burger house somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Patatas fritas. Patatas patume in Arabic, I'm pretty sure. Although that might be specific to Lebanon. That's where the guy who taught us that <laughs> we're from. Nice. And actually, patatas patume might just mean put chips in my mouth. <laughs> because he was trying to prank us at the Arabic takeaway. <laughs> So, yeah, never mind. <laughs> when will find a corner to to wedge her back into, and they will uh, they will start scrubbing any information about themselves off of that computer. That does not take long at all. As ruggedized and military as that laptop is, it's still no match for your stuff. And then, uh, once Quinn is completely scrubbed from that computer, they'll, uh, make sure it's got free access and, uh, hand it to Violet. All finished? Uh, yes, got what I needed. She nods appreciatively. Might have something you can use. So what was that guy up to? All sorts of shady spy. shit. He was, he was a spy. Well, that's not great. <clears throat> also, hey! He was indeed a spy. What do you mean, hey? 
Aren't you a spy? She frowns at that. <laughs> the point is, spies should not also be demon worshippers. It's a bad combination. In fact, I'd like That's there fair. to be as little magic in the world as possible. She told us he wasn't a demon worshipper. What? What more specifically was he? Uh, we've got incoming, Chase says. Lol. <laughs> He's coming into pizza. Uh, <clears throat> no. No, it's more like a dragon. Yes? It, what? It's a dragon. <laughs> then, Pull uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, suddenly there's like a dramatic shift in, you know, the orientation of the shuttle as it gains like a good 100, 200 feet or altitude in a second. Erica will ask, Computer, are you playing Dungeons and Dragons? Someone is. And view screens will display the trail of fire left by the dragon that just tried to blast you 100 feet below you. D did it come from the mountain? Oh. It, it came from town. What, it was just hanging out in a tavern or something? Maybe we should What's have going on? left magic guy behind, says Chase. Oh shit, is it magic guy? I, I, can't, I can't really look because we're currently accelerating up, I hope. Chase says, Ed, Magic Guy's not riding it. But... It could be It could be him, though. I, it could be. I no, mean, that, 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 that's just being too hopeful. I don't see a resemblance, says, uh, says Chase. As he shows you the dragon. And then he also Does says, anybody feel like fighting a dragon? That might be a wyvern. Okay, we're also deleting yes. the monster manual from your memory when we get through this. I feel like that's happened before. This is Chase. So, as someone very closely related to dragons, please keep in mind the difference. They will eat you if you don't. How big is it? Is it big, bigger than Snickers? Yes. But God. Only, only because of the wings. I think it's about as long as Snickers. Do we want to drop me on top of it and I'll start biting it? We kind of do, but we feel bad about it. <laughs> Don't. I haven't eaten a dragon in years. There's a pretty big margin of error. Uh, everyone else strap on. We're going to open the back. I got on Spock. And she straps on the seatbelt. Uh, uh, actually, Quinn will go to the back door and, like, wrap a, a strap kind of around their uh, eyes. Oh, yeah, what are the... And kind of, like, hold on. Uh, Quinn wants to be able to, like, zoom in and start inspecting the the dragon with the hyperspectral eyes. Nice. Yeah, Kadeem is similarly similar, similarly, good god, uh, heading towards the the back. Uh, Violet will direct Abby towards the side where the gun is. <laughs> And we'll be strapping things down herself. We just acquired a lot of valuables that should not be falling out the back. He absolutely did. So, yeah, that back door, like, you know, opens. There's the rush of air. And then suddenly the dark sky behind you is, like, lit up by fire. As that dragon swoops back into view. Banzai! <laughs> um, give me an IQ check, Whoa. please, Quinn. 
We might have to catch him if he misses. Please don't miss. Success by eight. Success by eight. <clears throat> it's not showing up on hyperspectral. Ooh. Violet, it has got a mind. Cool. Um. Yeah. Not the same mind as the guy that was tangled? No, fuck. Yeah, it is the same mind. It is the... Yeah, there you go. Now you get a close air quotes look. Yes! It is the wizard guy. Abby, do Lila you... Is, do is you, really pleased. Do you get on the gun station? Here we go, Abby. Maybe not. I think we should about call it as mm -hmm. Snecker's leaps from the back of a shuttle onto a dragon. I'm not John, really sure what his anything? plan is. <laughs> <laughs> eat a dragon, he said. <laughs> I've not eaten a dragon yeah. in years. His plan is to eat a dragon. You're going to be so disappointed it's been when 2, it turns years. out to be a magic man. I mean, magic men can be dragons, also. It's true. Yeah. It's very true. I haven't eaten a dragon since I was thrown out of Ireland. So, I mean. <laughs> Did you eat all the dragons in Ireland? Are you, are you St. Patrick? No, St. Patrick no, picked him out. No, but I met St. Patrick. What a uh, dick. He was a dick. He <laughs> 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 <is> an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> He was all like, oh, you get your fucking no leg buddies off my island, you pricks. You kill a dragon for a guy and suddenly he's throwing you off the island. So, Wait, are you not allowed back to Ireland? No! Well, St. Patrick's been dead a long time, you know. He's, he's not there to be going back anymore. It's still tradition, though. <laughs> Last time I went to Ireland, they threw beer bottles at me. Can't believe St. Patrick actually kicked snakes out of Ireland. I always thought I mean, it was like right easy because you know there's like no fucking snakes in Ireland to begin with. But clearly there was, there was me. There was at least snakes. It wasn't a lot of snakes, but it was one impressive snake. Snakes is Irish, confirmed. <laughs> at one point, you I were... was Japanese. Ooh, cool. I die a lot. Th they probably snakes. just reported the weight. They assume it was all the snakes from Ireland. Mm, yeah. Several thousand tons of snake banished from Ireland. <laughs> That's not one snake, right? Definitely not just the one snake. It okay. was just the one snake. Yeah, we got distracted there. Just me. I think it got. What very... do you want me to roll to bite onto this dragon? Uh, I think we're all agreed that we were calling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unless okay. we can resolve yeah. the fight real quick. Mm -hmm. you, you cannot because. Uh... I think I've got a sheet for this dragon made somewhere, and it'll be terrifying if I use it as is, so I should use it as is. Awesome. So wait, is it a dragon, a human, or a dragon maid? What's a dragon He's... maid? <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say. He was half man, half human. <laughs> All made. <laughs> got ya. The dragon, it's like a man maid. Truck door was a man. Also, at the end of the battle phase, is it going to turn into a waifu? Is that is that the? That's one of the possible oh. endings. It depends on you. You like uh, you know the dialogue choices you make in the battle. I just realized it's the only person. I think none of you play Yu-Gi-Oh besides Everoth, so none of you would get that reference. What is this about blue eyes? Uh, no, they, ba they basically ahead, made dragons into dragon, cute dragon mates. Oh, okay. Fluffy, cute dragon mates. Sounds hot. Yeah. 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 We'll be back next week to see uh, Snickers try and eat a dragon. Uh, we had <laughs> Colin. Hi, I'm Colin. I played Kadeem, and I might have hurt my throat a little bit just now. You hurt another guy's throat real bad today. 
So <laughs> that's true. I did. We had CD. Hey, I'm CD. I arrived late and then had all the technical problems, but I was playing Snickers for a little while there. Yeah, you, you bet, Abby. This is a successful session. We had Everoth. Hello, I was Everoth, and I was playing Erica. And please pet the pug and feed him potatoes. Okay. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. We had Kyle. Hey, I am Kyle. I played Quinn. Now the playing, spy. Now playing Quinn the spy. We had Terra, maybe. We had we had Terra. She did some strips. I am here. Hey. I'm passing out. No like worries. I, I I was I am Terra. I'm playing Abby and all that jazz. Sorry, I'm running off like three hours of sleep. Pokemon came out last night. <laughs> That's amazing. Have, yeah. You switch I have four owners. And I'm poor in pulse control. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd be in the same boat if I had a switch. <laughs> and we had Lee. Hi, I'm Lee. I play Violet, and uh, Lee is thrilled to have other spies in the party, and Violet's terrified by it. It's great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Yeah, there's fun on the way, for sure. Uh, and I'm Luke. We're the Cobalt Cafe. We might be back on Monday with Spelljammer. We'll almost definitely be back on Friday with us again. Uh, say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. bye everybody.